ladies and gentlemen, what Connor was talking about is actually really and truly what customer service is all about. For example, when we talk about what is customer service, we are saying in its simplest form, customer service is basically the sum or the total of what any organization or and you guys as individuals do to produce an expectation that the customer would like to have and sometimes or most times or probably even better go beyond it to satisfy them and that is what customer service is in its entirety satisfying the customer's needs going beyond the call of duty to ensure that they are all satisfied why do we do that let me leave you with a quote dominion demands service what that basically means is this if you want to be dominant in any area of an industry especially when it comes to customer service it that dominance demands service if you want to give poor service you can expect that whatever industry you're in you're not gonna last very long in it because that customer satisfaction is what brings the customers back to your establishment or to your business or to your company or, 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 or whatever business you are involved in that satisfaction is what brings them back and if they experience something good you can guarantee they're your customers for life that is what we talk about satisfying customers now at SXM Airport we realize that you cannot leave customer satisfaction up to chance that that cannot work. Like Connor mentioned earlier, there's always risk involved in customer service because depending on how you treat the customer, it's a very delicate situation. Depending on how you treat the customer, that lets them know whether or not they wanna come back to you or if they're gonna go somewhere else. So with that said, what we did at SXM Airport is we conducted a gap analysis. Now a gap analysis is this. There is always a standard there's always an ideal. And at Essex and Melbourne, what we did, we conducted assessments or we, 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 we spoke to different um, experts in the customer service field, both regionally and locally. And we far, decided to figure out what the standard is. What is the industry standard? So there's a standard. Now, when we figured out what the standard was, we conducted an internal assessment to find out where we were at in relation to that standard. Everybody with me so far? So, the distance between the industry standard and where we are at is the gap. And that gap is what we were trying, oh, not were, what we are in the process of trying to diminish. Now, sometimes you would hear people say, well, you know, that's the ideal, that's the standard, but that's, that's perfect. I mean, nobody's perfect. We can't, we, we, we can't reach it. Well, I beg to differ. You see, even though it's an ideal and even though it's a standard, whether or not we reach that standard is irrelevant. What matters is that we are consistently making steps towards the ideal. Because whenever we make steps towards the ideal, it always puts us in a better position than where we were at before. So if this is a standard and we are constantly moving forward towards that ideal, where we were at before, we have improved and where we were at at this point we improved while we may not reach the ideal but if we continue to go towards the ideal we'll be better off than where we were at so when we talk about you know bridging the gap there are certain performance drivers there are certain um areas or certain elements that play a role in facilitating this gap that we have and these are some of the, the drivers. These are called performance drivers. And 35% of it is related to information. Now, what is information? This is, it is, this is what it is simply. Information is really education. Because a lot of times we, we, we tell people, yeah, well, I went on a training or I, 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 I went to this, um, this training session. But training is not the same as education. Because education is the why you are doing what you are doing. Training is simply telling you what to do. We, we, we constantly hear for forever. 
we got to give good customer service. we got to give good customer service. But there has never been an emphasis on why do we give the good customer service. And that is why 35% of the gap is accounted for a lack of information. Because whenever we produce information, we are enlightening people. And when people are enlightened, they now have a responsibility to act on the information they have received. Education is important. That is why SXM Airport puts on every two years a safety and security workshop. And this last year, we included this customer service presentation in it to provide the information so that our stakeholders and our shareholders and everybody who is involved with customer service from taxi drivers straight up to management understand why we give good customer service. Why do we give good customer service? Because everybody in this business of customer service is an owner. We all own a part of it. From the cleaner to the taxi drivers to persons in the, on the field, everyone to the persons that are there working in dominoes to the police officers to the members in the tourist office to government workers everybody owns a little bit of this customer service cooperation if i were to buy shares in, in apple i would become part owner so for, so whatever apple makes i get a share of it same thing with customer service i own a part of customer service so how i treat a customer reflects on the state of the company so if I treat a customer bad, everybody else in here feels it because they form a general impression be it by what I do on what the entire company is about. So if we are all owners, we have to understand that, listen, if you don't treat this company right, if you don't take care of this product that we have called customer service, we all can lose our livelihood. That is the why. Customer service extends and transcends just a simple job or a simple vocation. Customer service is the basis for this entire industry. And if you don't take care of it, it could spell disaster for us all.